Hi there, this is Mike from Sabrin, and here on this channel we talk about tech and tech-related tips, mainly on storage devices. So if that's what you're into, then please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you get notified of any future videos. But today I have the Sabrin USB-C tool-free enclosure for PCIe uh, M.2 NVMe SSDs, as well as for SATA SSDs. So let's get into this thing, and let me talk you through a little bit about it. So in the box, obviously, you get your warranty cards. You also get the instruction manual. And the great thing with uh, this Sabrent enclosure is that it's compatible with Mac OS, Windows, and Linux, but also with iPad OS as well, as I've connected this thing up and with the iPad, and it works fantastically. So inside the box, we get a USB a C cable uh, so that's end to end USB C and then we get the star of the show which is this Sabrent enclosure so as you can see it is so thin and small and definitely portable as you can see it's made from this really nice uh, almost anodized like uh, aluminium and obviously we've got the Sabrent logo just over here and this is going to do really well in terms of uh, thermal dissipation because inside as you can see we've got the thermal pad right over here which is going to help when you insert your NVMe SSD or SATA SSD inside of here because this is going to help dissipate the heat uh, across the aluminium enclosure now to install the uh, SSD that you have all that you do is just pop it in and then you have this little rubber secure part which will then can be moved across so depending on the size of ssd that you have you can actually pull this out as you can see so this bit here you can pull this out and then you can pop that right into the size ssd that you have and then pop that up to start with and then you can push it down to secure it so it's really easy to make sure that your ssd fits inside of this enclosure and then once you're done all that you do just close it up hear that click and then you're ready to go. So let's open up this USB-C cable. So let's just literally tear into this thing. <laughs> and then as you can see, we've got the Sabrent USB-C cable uh, included. And then all that you do, just pop that in to the enclosure and then pop this into your device. Now this Sabrent enclosure is a USB 3.2 enclosure, which means that it can reach speeds of up to 10 gigabits per second. This is also plug and play meaning that there are no additional drivers required it's all bus powered and the great thing with this as well is it's compatible as I mentioned earlier with all your different types of NVMe SSDs and SATA SSDs such as uh, 2242, 2260 and 2280. This is also backwards compatible with USB 3.1 and 3.0 at their respective speeds. So if you're looking for a SATA SSD enclosure or NVMe SSD enclosure, then go ahead and pick one of these up. I'll leave links down in the description below. But I really hope that you enjoyed this video and this quick rundown on our SSD enclosure. If you've enjoyed this video, then please hit that like button. And if you're new here, then please hit that subscribe button and notification bell. And if you want to watch more videos, I'll leave an end screen at the end of this video. Anyway, look after yourselves and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Hey everyone, I got with me the ROG Strix Arion. This handy little device is an M.2 SSD enclosure with a solid metal construction and built-in RGBs. Installing your own M.2 SSD is super easy, so why don't we get to it? All the tools we'll need are a Phillips head screwdriver and a cell phone SIM card poker. Your average paperclip, hairpin, or lock picking kit will also work too. First, we need to insert our SIM card poker into the small hole at the base of the Arion. This will pop open the side panel, revealing the space for our M.2 drive. Very cool, so let's check out the inside. The aluminum body allows some really great heat dissipation, and there's even a cozy little heat absorption pad for your SSD. Now that we have it open, we'll install our M.2 SSD just like you would on your motherboard. Simply unscrew this screw, insert our M.2 at about a 45 degree angle, then we secure the SSD by reinstalling the screw. Finally, we just pop the bottom back on and we're good to go. We can load it up with all our favorite games via the lightning fast USB 3.2C connection. 
Well, that was really, really easy. Now our ROG Strix Arion is all kitted out with an M.2 SSD. Now we get NVMe and RGB on the go. Thanks for watching and make sure you like and subscribe for more content from ROG.